when you look at this Rams defense, what stands out and what makes Aaron Donald so challenging? Yeah, he's a, a true game wrecker. You know, he's the best in the game for a reason. Uh, you have to account for him in the run game, the pass game. Um, you know, he's the best to ever do it at that position, and uh, it shows every week on tape. So, got a good plan. You know, uh, it's going to take execution, but, uh, you know, he's a great player. And, you know, the whole defense thrives off him, and um, they're well coordinated, and uh, it's a good group. You have to take everything into account when you get up there, but is he the first guy you identify and kind of go from there to try to figure out what they're going to do? Yeah, you always got to know where. 99 is, you know, every week, and he's used to it. every week. Teams do it to him too, and he still produces. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. But yeah, he's obviously a focal point. You told us in the last couple of weeks that mentally you kind of go into it, just like college, just playing ball. Do you still do that, or is it now more kind of drawing on the experience of what you've been able to do these last few years? Yeah, every every snap in practice and in games is huge. Uh, just build that experience, um, you know. Still, have, I still don't have a lot of experience. Been, been lucky, been fortunate, played, played all right. But yeah, so you're learning constantly, uh, every play, and so you draw on all those snaps. Obviously, there's only one Aaron Donald, just like there's only one Bobby Wagner. But uh, what can you, what do you draw from, you know, going in practice against these guys, a defense of this caliber in Dallas, to kind of how that can help you prepare for a team like the Rams? Yeah, our, yeah, our, ourselves, we got some guys kind of like them. Uh, you know, we got Micah. Can wreck a game too, you know. Ramsey kind of plays like Diggs, great ball skills, you know, big athletic guy. Um, so you know, you see similar, similar uh, traits in all of them. So always going against our defense helps us because those guys, you know, as we've seen, um, pretty talented. The drive when you went to CD three times in a row. I think Mike had said the first time he was the primary look, the next two secondary. Were you surprised that you, that it ended up going to him three times in a row? And what's it like when you're in the middle of that series? Yeah, he made a great read on the first one, got inside. Uh, he made a good catch and run. And then, yeah, he just popped. He was open uh, two times in a row. You know, we tried to get a shot deep. And, uh, you know, they took Turp deep. And he's sitting there in the middle of the field wide open. So the ball finds him. You know, we do a good job of scheming it up. I think Hell does a great job of, you know, making him available at all times. And, uh, you know, yeah, he just got open. Yeah, he'll play a little nickel. He'll play in the slot a little bit and then to the boundary. You know, he kind of goes everywhere. Um, you know, so you just got to be ready you know, for wherever, he, wherever he's at. So you first look for 99 and then you look for five? Yeah, 99 first and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's always first. Cooper, I, I, know you, I know that you don't ever want to be behind, but when you guys have been behind or they've scored a touchdown, you seem to have been able to answer right back uh, in multiple games. Why, why do you think that is? Uh, I don't think there's any, like, doesn't trigger us to execute better or anything. I think we've just gone out and put a couple drives together, you know, that, um, you know, realize we got to go score and just uh, just execute well. You know, we want to get leads. We want to get up on teams, let our defense pin their ears back and get after the QB. And, you know, we got to start fast. That's a goal every week. Um, so same plan this week. Special, historic, what you've been a part of right now. I mean, how does it feel to be a part of that group potentially? Uh, it doesn't feel that different. I mean, you know, I've played well, but obviously it's a whole team thing. Our defense is, I've been fortunate as a starter, you know, our defense line up one touchdown a game pretty much. And uh, so that makes playing quarterback a lot easier. You know, and the wins, the QB win stat gets thrown out there a lot, and everyone knows it's it gets inflated and, you know, all that stuff. But, uh, you know, you'll reflect someday on it. It'll be cool, but right now we're just playing ball. Mike was saying today, he was talking about if he ever used the point spread as motivation going into a game that he never really had. And then we talked about this when he said, we're nobody's underdog. Is that, does that kind of summarize the approach in this locker room, do you think, going into this? Yeah, I don't think the, uh, the spread ever comes up. I don't think guys really pay attention to that. And uh, I have no idea what the spread is. And uh, we're on the road for a good team. You know, you're always going to be looked at as an underdog in that situation. Uh, but it's not a focal point. Our locker room is great. We know what we have, and we just want to go play. When the game is in LA, how does that differ from other road environments, considering that Oxnard is 90 minutes away and there are a lot of Cowboys? Yeah, it should be a pretty good crowd. It should be sp split, we think. You know, last time we played there, we played uh, the Chargers last year. They showed up. It was loud for both sides, both teams. Um, it's an awesome stadium. It gets loud, I think, the way it's designed. Um, so it's really exciting. 
It'll be a great crowd for you on both teams. The QB win stat is the most important stat, right? <laughs> to you guys, maybe. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, the win stat as a team is the uh, the most important one. You mentioned after the, uh, the game against the Commanders that you love the impact of Michael Gallup's return and how that reminded him that, hey, I am Michael Gallup. Are you still seeing that confidence carry over in these last two practices? Yeah, he's just getting more comfortable, you know, trusting himself more and more. You know, he's really had three good weeks now in a row of, like, full practices. And I think live game reps, you know, contested catches, going after balls, deep balls, uh, I think that was huge. And, you know, he's looking good and feeling confident. I think it was easy for us right after the injury to sort of look way long term on what's the record going to be. How easy was it for you to put that out of your mind and just say, need to win this week for this one? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy, you know, that first week you had Cincinnati coming to town, you know, they were in the Super Bowl, so that real quickly you realize you better be ready for this one. And uh, same thing every week, it's the NFL. Uh, if you start looking long term, things, things can end bad. So you just go week by week. Um, you really don't have any other time for anything else. Mike talked earlier this week about how as a play caller, you could either play to win or play not to lose, particularly when you have a backup quarterback coming in and how they haven't had to play not to lose. They've still been able to give you all of those opportunities. What has surprised or impressed you most about the play calling? Uh, we've just been we've been really efficient in the run game. Uh, I think everyone's trusting the run game. The backs are doing a great job up front. We're doing a great job. Um, that's really opened the play action pass. You know, we got to get better on third down. Starts with me on third down in the red zone. So, really want to improve there. Um, you know, I think we're getting better and just play smart, trust our defense. You know, and make plays when they're there. All right. Yep. Thank you.